Hi, this is Anil Lami from Big Smoke Cigar Kuwait. Today we have a new cigar and a new review. Today we have the Undercrown Shade. This is the box for the Undercrown Shade. Undercrown Shade today we have it Robusto, they come in Grand Toro. Today we have the Robusto size. This is the box, the cedar, and this is the sticks inside 25 Robusto, beautiful, very nice color cigar, we'll choose one and we'll start our jelly with you, the Connecticut shade, it's become very popular these days between the manufacturer, we, we saw before, it was a long time ago, it's the Connecticut cigar available, and sorry we show you, this is the the warning for the health ministry. So, as we said, the Connecticut is already a long time ago, it's been used, but the Connecticut shade now become very popular between the manufacturer. We choose today a new release from uh, the Andrew Crown, and it was very well uh, accepted by so many cigar aficionados. We said this is the Robusto, this is the stick you can see, very beautiful, well constructed stick with two labels, the undercrown label, it's become golden white and the foot also there is a label shade, it's written in it, the shade or showing. This is all and the two caps for the cigar. Beautiful. Well constructed is it, golden color, amazing, uh, silky wrapper, there is approximately, you can say there is no any default, it is very beautiful constructed and as we said this cigar is coming by, the Robusto is 5 by 54 and this is actually the first uh, uh, blend for the master blender Willie Herrera under the undercrown because normally he was doing for uh, what they call it uh, Esteli, Herrera Esteli. So uh, as we said beautiful well constructed set with a golden color and uh, uh, the size is 5 by 54. We'll remove the, the foot Uh, label and we'll cut it and we'll start our journey we'll see what this well recommended cigar shows this is uh, as we said a new release from the Undercrown and it was accepted so beautifully from so many cigar aficionados the wrapper is Ecuadorian Connecticut and the filler is it's a Corojo a Dominican Corojo Cariol and Nicaraguan uh, sorry the uh, Dominican uh, Carol and uh, Nicaraguan Corojo Cariol this is the cut as you can see we use the Zyker titanium cutter today very nice. We'll check the draw and we'll check the aromas or the pre light. The draw is so smooth, very nice. The bind that we said is a Sumatran, and that's a very, very favorite uh, uh, binder. The pre light aroma is strong, earthy, and the foot is earthy also. That's nice. This is great. Let's start. Normally, okay. So, with a great 
combination between uh, Dominican Coral and Nicaraguan Corojo and Coral and Sumatran Binder and Ecuadorian Connecticut. So it will be like a great journey. Some people they say so much mild, some people they say mild to medium. We'll see. Very nice start. The draw is very smooth and the start is very cool actually. Not a punchy start. Serving healthy flavor as a start now. Very smoothy, earthy flavor. And actually, you know, the, the wrapper is so goldy and silky. give you the idea that it will be a very mild cigar very very mild cigar because of the color if you're gonna bridge it today we're gonna bear with it Nespresso Rose Bay to Z zero check our palette and it will be helping us to determine the flavors and uh, the character of that cigar. Now we're showing a hint of peppery. Not just a strength, just a small amount of pepperness showing. Providing a great plum of creamy smoke, but not richy, white plum of creamy smoke. The radio hair is very nice and easy, not uh, uh, what they call it's very strong that you can feel it very strong in your nose and that's nice. quite shy start and uh, 
pleasant actually, not an aggressive or not uh, what they call it a strong sort. And this is uh, sometimes what they call, uh, you can say it, catch you in a corner, suddenly change, a big divert. Now it's going a sweet coffee flavor. The burn until now is great, and the ash, it's uh, accumulating good, but uh, the construction, I don't know, it's going to be solid and stay, or going to be a little bit fluffy. Until now it's an amusing. You can see the burn. It's equal, there is no problem. And the ash is accumulating white, snow white, you can say. It's a white, beautiful ash all around. We'll see how gonna be how strong gonna stay after a while. beautiful uh, sweet coffee flavor we'll go now and come back to you later on to continue smoking this beautiful stick see you after a while back again with the undercrown shade robusto this is the you can see the the ash for the first for third and the burn is equal great I can say it's sharp even and the ash is accumulating and strong approximate two inch the draw is so amazing you can see now beautiful and it's coming from down and that's very nice you can see the ash is very strong as you can see now very beautiful and I think it needs to be tipped to go down this is the idea we're gonna try to tip it now it's filled down we'll start our journey again to see what the second third will show us actually the first third was very nice start earthy with a hint of peppers, then sweet coffee it start very smooth and not aggressive and this is very very great you know for the stick and the draw uh, was so smooth from the start the burn is great Second third start with a cedar flavor with a nice aftertaste. Actually until now it's in the mild corner. It's not showing any strength. Providing a nice plum of creamy smoke you know there is no harm to be starting mild because you know that's meant to be start mild and enjoyable this is the idea with the Connecticut shape Beautiful earthy flavor come back again. And until now, very smoothness, you can feel it in your mouth. And the ritual hair is very easy, not aggressive. And uh, actually, have its own character, is different than the other 
Connecticut Shade Eye Smoke. The amazing thing, the rich you have, so easy and give you an enjoyment with its smoothness and not aggressiveness. Very nice. Today we always said we pair with it Nespresso and actually I discovered that the coffee or the Nespresso dark coffee it's very nice with the Connecticut shade cigars. It's a very nice pairing actually. Different than a cold drink or something else. Roasted nut flavor now. Little bit become little bit stronger. We reach the middle. Still the burn is great and the ash accumulating and there is no issues. Very nice aftertaste with the roasted nut and actually the roasted nut completely changed the mood and provide a different kind of aftertaste and show you a little bit strength very nice until now the character is great it's, you, it's unique Connecticut shade character, the undercrown I think and Willie Herrera do a, a great job on this one and he have a great reputation actually as a master blender beautiful We'll go now and we'll come back to you on the finale. We'll see what this beautiful stick shows. Back again with the Undercrown Connecticut Shade Robusto. This is the ash for the second third. The burn is so great, amazing. There is no problem. And the ash accumulated and solid. Beautiful white ash. We'll put it down and we'll see what it's going to give us on the finale. It was, until now, a beautiful second third. Started cedary, then earthy back again, shows the balance. Let's remove the label. Okay. This is the label for the undercrown. And Final the second third with the roasted nuts become a little bit extra than the mild starting on the border of the medium. We'll see what it's gonna give us on the final. The draw is so amazing. There is no resistance at all and the bouquet of flavor is great starts very smooth and very surprising actually we, I smoked a different kind of the Canadian shade until now and this is have its own character and I think Willie Herrera do our best job on this stick Plaster, start with a peppery flavor and now showing a strong little bit peppery flavor the signature of the Nicaraguans tobacco is showing now the peppery flavor beautiful and 
you can feel it in your tongue. Uh, normally, you know, most of the Nicaraguan will feel that. This is a combination between Dominican and Nicaraguan, and that's nice. Beautiful aftertaste providing. Actually, it's doing a job blending different leaves and getting the stick in that greatness. It's amazing. Now showing its medium and a little bit strong. That's what we need from the cigar actually. A bouquet of a great flavor, changing different between first and second and third, showing the balance and eliminating the, the bitterness or the harshness in the stick. Until now there is nothing of all. Uh, harshness and no bitterness and that's what make you knob the stick until the end it will be provide a great enjoyment now a hint of a sweetness showing and that will reduce a little bit of the strength And you can feel it actually today, you know, it was a, a successful, successful bearing between the coffee and the cigar, and I enjoy it. From my point of view, this cigar can be smoked in the morning as easy. You will feel enjoy with a little food or a nice breakfast and it's a, an old time smoke there is no need for a, a strong meal for it because actually the start was so great so easy full of enjoyment the size is great 5 by 54 is a very enjoyment the timing for sticks will be around 1.5 1 to 2 hours, you know, for me it will be a very nice 2 hours smoke for this stick. A cold draw, an amazing smoke going off and off, going off and on, that will be a full enjoyment. You don't need to make it a hot cannon and then you will start to feel the harshness if you make it, make it a big hot stick. Now, see the flavor come back again. This is definitely a balanced stick, well blended, a great job. Uh, it's medium, mild to medium. It's not full medium, but it, you can say it's a medium stick. the refill is coming down providing a great plum of creamy smoke smoothness in the draw and the burn is equal there is no even and there is no any issues on the burn the ash it's going if you if you're gonna make lift the ash you can smoke it until two inch it can be it, it can hold for two inch actually there is no problem it's not a flaky ash, it's very strong, well constructed stick. I enjoy the ride, it's a great stick, full of great flavors. The bouquet is very nice. All the elements, there is for, for, my, for my idea, this is a success actually. 
and salute for Undercrown and Drew State for this cigar and salute for Willie Herrera. It's a great success actually and he know everybody knows he's a great master blender. I hope I cover in this review all the detail about this Undercrown Shade Robusto Connecticut Shade. You give it a try and see if you're gonna match my ideas or my review. I hope everybody will enjoy and have the chance to smoke it. It's a great cigar. Take the chance and purchase it. Robusto is a great size, 5x54. It's a very, very nice size. I don't know, you know, there is a big, the Grand Toro is great, they say, it, but I didn't try it. You have the chance to try whatever you like of the size, but the timing and the size is great. We are in the end of this review with the Connecticut shade from Underground. I hope we cover everything. Any detail, any question, just subscribe to our channel and we'll answer you. I will be happy to do that. This is Ali Lami from Big Smoke Cigar to Kuwait. See you on another cigar and another review. Salute everybody. Have a great Sunday.